Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. In this video, I'm going to be talking about an article that I saw the other day, whatever, uh, by CNET, uh, called Why Ki My, it's like titled My Kids Can't Stop Playing Terrible Video Games. Okay. okay when I read this earlier, the dude's like, okay, these games, the dude, it, they, she says terrible video games. So th these games has to be like, like garbage games that that are like super laggy, something like that to do. It, it, it has to be something wrong with them, though, dude, for them to be really be considered terrible video games in all reality. Because like, or, or like, like it must not be fun. It must not be, like like there's like like those like, things could be considered t a terrible video game. But let's see what this person says is a terrible video game. Okay, first off. Let's start reading the article. But hey, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you always know from whenever I upload. I upload here Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Let's go. Okay, it starts off like this. A couple months ago, I asked my seven-year-old son which video games he wanted for Christmas. The list handed back made for depressing reading. How the hell did you get depressed by reading what he wanted for Christmas to do? That's just garbage. Okay, this is it. at the top of the list. Of course, Among Us. Among Us is a very amazing game, actually, though, dude. Don't know why you would consider that a terrible game. It's really fun. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, if you compare anything to, like, the top ten best video games of all time, anything's gonna look like trash, but still, not everything's gonna be a top ten video game, and not all people are gonna be interested in that stuff. But, so, this is a seven-year-old, dude. Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are interested in Among Us, dude. Among Us is um, a phenomenal game. This is a video game version of social deduction games like Ma Mafia and Werewolf. Among Us is so popular, it threatens to swallow up all other forms of entertainment. What? Okay, that's just dumb. No, it does not threaten to swallow up all other forms of entertainment. And either way, though, dude, uh, gaming's already the, uh, best, uh, the, uh, okay, in terms of, like, um, profits, gaming's at the top of all entertainment, though, dude, more than movies, more than music, more than anything like that, though, dude, it's also, like, one of the fastest growing. Okay, guys, so let's, uh, kinda go on, though, dude. Second was Roblox, a weird set of creation tools... Kids mostly used to create, upload, and then play with an endless list of grim video game ripoffs. Watching any child play Roblox is a fast track to insanity. Brains worms in their purest form. Okay, I'm I I don't like I I haven't really played Roblox. I said never played Roblox actually though, dude. But I've seen people play. But I, but I've seen people play Roblox though, dude. Okay, dude. I've, I've seen, like my my little sister used to play Roblox. I guess, dude. Uh, uh, my, my, my brother did also, dude. But still, dude. Again, just because you don't like like the game does not mean it's not it's terrible. Yes, Roblox can be annoying, and uh, there's been tons of garbage stories about it where ch uh, children have pretty much like took in their parents' credit cards and and spent like their entire life savings on it, though, dude. Which is garbage and. That's why parents should be watching what their kids are playing, especially at that young of an age. And really up until they are like 14, 13, 14. But still, case in point though, dude, or like, yeah, if your child's playing a game, dude, where there is an option to, to pay money for extra stuff, you should be watching that child to make sure they don't do it, though, dude. Okay, but still, it's not brain worms in their purest form. Like, yeah, it's annoying. But, again, it's still not a garbage video game, though, dude. Third on the list, a game called Zuba. One God's Green Earth is Zuba. Okay, I agree with you there. I have no idea. I've never heard of that game before. Okay, a good question. A, curious, a curiosity Google search says Zuba is a free-for-all battle royale combat game where animals fight to death. But until my son comes to you, spelled it out on a purple post note, I literally never heard of Zuba. Me neither. I still only have a rudimentary idea what the hell it is, and to be honest, I'm not sure I want to dive deeper into that rabbit hole. Okay, so looking at, like, Zuba is, like, a battle royale, dude, which isn't, which is okay, I mean, it is free-for-all, but if you want to get into, like, a free, free, uh, battle royale, I'd probably say, like, Fortnite's still a pretty okay game, um, uh, and there's some other ones there that are, are pretty good, um, okay, so... 
kids, mainly my kids, have terrible taste in video games. Okay, let's do this. Among Us is a phenomenal game, though, dude. It's a great game. And it's free on phones, so there's no point in not playing it, though, dude, in all reality, though, dude, with how good it is. Um, and and they, I think they're adding, they're adding like a new map sumo, dude, which is the air, which is an airship map. Roblox again, though, dude. It's I don't know how to hit it. I don't. I mean, it, it's it's just, there's nothing wrong with playing Roblox. It's not a horrible game, though, dude. It's not like it gets running at like two frames a second or something like that, though, dude. Okay. As a journalist who spent the majority of his career covering video games, my home is a treasure trove that most adults, let alone kids, would salivate over. No, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. We have a PS5, two Nintendo Switches, an Xbox Series X, and easy access to almost every ma major video game release. Sometimes weeks in advance. That's actually kind of cool. That is awesome. Okay. With practically every classic major release of the last decade, decade at their fingertips, my children choose these strange bottom figure, bottom feeder, feeders, free to play iPad games about doing flips on a BMX, Human Fall Flat, a we weird game about humans falling flat. I guess who the hell knows? Okay, the games you use are not all bottom feeders, though, dude. Again, though, dude. Not all games have to be a t has to be like a ten out of ten for someone to enjoy though, dude. Uh, most games are subjective, especially if someone gets like a lower rating because they don't like it and that kind of stuff. They do, but a lot of games are subjective, unless of course if the game's running at like two frames at like ten uh, at like ten eighty p or something like that, dude. Not ten eighty p at like four twenty p. Then yeah, that's so that's a garbage game because it's not even running. It's not not playable. But if it's not like that, though, dude, it is. Uh, it could be. Man, it's really subjective, though, dude. Compared to it, though, dude. Like, Among Us is an amazing game. Roblox, okay game, even though I haven't played it, though, dude. That's what I've heard. A lot of opinions about it have been that it's an okay game. Well, let's move on. Then there's Goat Simulator. For a period of two months, my children played nothing but Goat Simulator. A meme game, especially that was strange when it was first released seven years ago in 2014. They could be playing Mario or Rayman Legends or Ori and the Will of the Wisps. They could be playing anything except Goat Gaming Simulator. Yeah, well, you could also be literally doing anything but writing this dumb article, but still, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, do, do kids are kind of dumb when it comes to, like, like uh, stuff they think about, literally? Yeah. Yeah, they think something is good when it's usually not. And, yeah, a lot of people don't want to be, yeah, maybe they don't want to play Mario right there, dude. Yeah, okay. But, you, but this is like a seven year old, though, dude. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, when I was seven, though, dude, yeah, I played Mario. I played Mario on the DS, uh, New Super Mario Bros. It was a fun game. Really good game, in my opinion. But, like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, we've come to an age where it's like, yeah, a lot of stuff like this are here. It gets super popular. A lot of indie titles like this are here. Like, uh, I remember the last year, dude. Literally, last year, there was a game called um, Untitled Goose Game, which became super popular. Um, I haven't played it, but I've heard it's actually, but I've seen less, uh, let's play on it, and it's actually, it actually looks kind of cool. Uh, but still, though, dude, like, yeah. Rayman and Legend, all three of those things you named, though, dude, pretty much are, like, platformers, so, dude. What about, um, action adventures like Legend of Zelda? Or a shooter like, um, Halo, or something like that, dude. Again, all of those games are really great games. I mean, not Halo 5, Halo 5 is kind of mediocre, but still. These choices don't come in a vacuum. Driven by YouTubers that amplify by a strange algorithm, they manifest in an evolutionary swamp of the playground where, between flossing and dabbing, presumably, children swap ties on which terrible video games they should torture their parents with next. Kids no, no longer play tag and seek, but they des designate imposters and play Among Us before heading home to back helpless parents to install phone and their iPads designed for homework. Later, they might trawl through the apps or endlessly watching trailers for terrible video free-to-play games designed to ruthlessly drain credit cards of their loot. It's a constant shifting nightmare, and the end result is grim. We have an entire population of children with god-awful taste in video games. Okay, I'm going to say this again, dude. Among Us is not a terrible video game. Roblox is not, not a horrible video game. Fortnite, it... Ha, it's not the. It's not a horrible video game either. 
I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's gotten worse recently, yeah. I mean, it's not as good as it was during, uh, chapter one, like, season three through season, like, four or something like that. Season four through five, I guess. Or something like that, dude. I, I don't know when it, when people started considering that game bad or what, through, but still, dude, it's still a good game. And, yeah, people aren't, yeah, kids are, I mean, yeah, 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 it doesn't matter if they're no longer playing tag or hide and seek anymore, okay, dude? Because we're moving into a more digital age. And, and among us, though, dude, they do not desi designate imposters, though, dude. I mean, like, technically, yeah, they do. But you're making it sound like uh, that the kids, they are, like, saying, like, you're the imposter kind of thing, and they're doing that, but they're not doing that. Um, it's randomly chosen, though, dude, but that's just a nitpick. Uh, here. Here. It's like, guess what, dude? Yeah, driven by YouTube and live stream algorithm. Yes, games that probably wouldn't have gotten popular like ten years ago have gone popular because of YouTubers and and the YouTube algorithm, though, dude. And people are watching it, which is causing a lot of people to watch it. That's also why Flappy Bird became super popular like years back. And the flossing and dabbing, uh, you're like two years late, dude. That thing has not really been cool for, like, a couple years, though, dude. I mean, like, like, I haven't really seen anyone do any of that stuff, though, dude, since, like, 2019. That was two years ago. Mostly, I haven't seen anyone do it because quarantine, but that's neither here or there. But still, though, dude, those stuff has gotten old. The trends have died, though, dude, for flossing and dabbing, though, dude. Those, those are there has not been popular for a long time. On the internet. But still, dude. Um, again, the dude, and, and just with this article, though, dude, you're, you're sounding like, uh, like, come on, dude, like, again, the dude, a lot of these games, you, like, come on, dude, like, you have never even played Among, a, a single game of Among Us, though, dude. Among Us is a phenomenal game, though, dude, and if you've never played it before, I would say at least play one game, at least play one game where you're both the imposter, either the imposter or the idea that don't play, like, with one game where you're the imposter, and at least one game where you're not the imposter, dude. So you can see the fun of it. Among Us is super fun. Because, again, dude, the social deduction aspect is actually super good, dude. Especially if you have a group of friends out that can play it with you on voice chat. But, hey, that's the end of the article. I, uh, yes, no. Okay, no, no, we're not done with the article. Okay, I didn't anticipate this. Once as a child-free adult, I always imagined myself being a cool dad. I like new music, I get stuff, I pass the vibe check, never in my wild streams do I imagine my precious video games would be the medium that made me feel like an out-of-touch granddad refusing to move with the times, but here we are. But is this the same thing? Have I become the parent radio dials glued to classic rock comp complaining about hip-hop not being real music that's definitely part of it yes you are capturing it either the dude because again the dude they like they like that stuff the dude it's just like uh again most people though dude most people if they don't like music though dude and someone else does though dude that does not make that music garbage just because you don't like it this means you don't like it i it mean it's not it's not gar horrible music someone else just because you don't like it they, the other people like it Okay, yes and Shudder, Bloody Zuba, aren't Grandmaster Flash and Cool Herc, never heard of that. It's hardly a seismic, seismic shift that stubborn middle-aged brains can't adapt to. More like children being collectively and uncriticizedly gazumped by apps and now games beyond their understanding my son doesn't know that free-to-play mechanics are often exploitative. He's seven. Yes. Again, like I said earlier, you probably should be watching to make sure you ain't getting your credit card or anything there. He doesn't really understand. He might send it really. No, oh, okay. My son. He doesn't under, really understand the difference between a finely craft experience like Mario Galaxy and Lucky's Tale. He's just happy to have a controller in his hand. That's how a lot of kids are, though, dude. They're happy to be there, though, dude. They don't know, like, yes. Yeah, Mario Galaxy, great game. Lucky's Tale, haven't played it, but I heard it's a great game, also. Okay, the kids are alright, I suppose. It's my job to steer mine right. I get that, but the tide is strong. The Politics and peer pressure of the playground are a heavy way for any parent to push back against people who's by social media and YouTube. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach my kids what a good video game looks like to follow my own taste upon them. Like all parents, 
again, it's not your place to ruin. Okay, it kind of is, but like still, you shouldn't be like just like pushing what you like on them just because you like it though, dude. And because something that you, that you don't like, it's something that they're interested in, does not mean it's a horrible game. That's like yeah. How about the people who don't like video games? They're like, well, I just they they try to get you to not play to not not play video games, dude. So dude, that's just as bad, dude, because you're kind of pushing them not to play certain video games that they like. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you probably shouldn't let your kids play freaking troll and either, dude, and, and, like, and garbage like that. But still, Among Us is not a horrible game. Roblox isn't a horrible game. Those games are pretty fine games. So, hey, guys, I guess this is the end of the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload here Monday through Friday. See you next time.